Today we are embarking on a journey through one of Montreal's hidden gems, which is rich in history and has a lot of natural beauty. Come along with me and let's explore the beautiful city of Lachine. But first, let's roll the intro. Hi everyone, Josh here. And before we start, I just want to remind you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so that I can continue to make more content like this in the future. I've been working in real estate around Montreal and its surrounding areas for many years and Lachine is truly one of my favorite cities. It offers the perfect blend of nature, affordability, location, accessibility, restaurants, and cafes. Whether you're already living in or around Montreal or looking to move to Montreal, Let's take a deeper dive into this city and explore all it has to offer. Lachine is a charming neighborhood located on the southwestern tip of the island of Montreal. It is renowned for its historical significance, picturesque waterfront, and cultural diversity. Lachine offers a unique blend of industrial heritage and natural beauty, making it a highly attractive place to live. Located on the St. Lawrence River, originally Lachine was an important place for fur trade and a trading post was established there when the first French settlers arrived. In terms of location, Lachine is approximately 15 kilometers or nine miles southwest of downtown Montreal, making it very easily accessible for commuters. The city of Lachine borders the Lachine Canal and is situated between the borough of La Salle and the city of Dorval. Due to its ideal location, Lachine offers multiple commuting and transportation options to all sides of the Montreal island. If you have a car, you can reach downtown Montreal in approximately 15 to 30 minutes depending on traffic conditions. Lachine has easy access to Highway 20 that brings you out west to the West Island or Vaudreuil as well as towards the east to the downtown area of Montreal. It is also located at the end of Highway 13, which also allows for easy access to Laval, or the highway can also bring you towards the Laurentians. If you want easy access by car to just about anywhere, then Lachine is an ideal place to live. In terms of public transportation, Lachine is also well connected to the Montreal public transit system, which includes buses and a commuter train. Public transportation can take about 30 to 40 minutes depending on the, your exact location. However, there are buses that can bring you directly to Lionel Gruel Metro Station. And from there, you can go just about anywhere in the city. Finally, to wrap up the commuting section of this video, Lachine is also conveniently located close to Dorval's Montreal Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport, making it convenient if you travel for work or when you go on vacations. Moving on to the next portion in this video, let's take a look at the types of properties found in Lachine. Lachine offers a diverse range of housing options, including single family homes, apartments, condos, and multiplexes. There are historic properties with unique architectural features, as well as modern developments. There's something for everyone from the million dollar waterfront properties to less expensive single family homes. 10% of properties were built between 2006 and 2016, and 44% were built before 1961. Many of the properties in Lachine are walking distance to the waterfront. As of 2023, the median price for single family homes in Lachine is $670,000. For condos, the median price is $373,000. And for duplexes, it is $649,500. Over the last five years, Lachine single family homes have seen a median price growth of approximately 51%. Median prices for condos have grown roughly 45% and median prices for duplexes have grown roughly 73% over the last five years. In terms of parks and schooling, Lachine's parks provide residents with beautiful green spaces for recreation and leisure. Park René Levesque and Park St. Louis offer walking trails, picnicking areas, and waterfront views. They also offer biking trails along the waterfront. The neighborhood is also home to several primary and secondary schools, both in the English and French education systems. Some examples of local schools include Collège Saint-Louis, which is a French public high school frequented by many top students, Collège Saint-Anne, which is a French private school, and Lakeside Academy, which is an English public high school. There are also many English and French elementary schools. Lachine also offers residents access to many amenities for free. Some examples include the public library, the indoor and outdoor pools, 23 soccer fields, two skate parks, nine baseball fields, eight outdoor skating rinks, two indoor skating rinks, running tracks, and 20 tennis courts. There are also many grocery stores and small shopping centers. You will have to leave the city to find bigger box stores for shopping experiences such as Walmart, Costco, or Winners, 
but they aren't very far given the close highway access. In the summer, you can also frequent the Lachine Market where farm to table ingredients are sold. Lachine boasts a variety of local restaurants offering a range of cuisines from French to Italian as well as international options. Many restaurants are waterfront making for not only delicious but beautiful dining experiences. A personal favorite of mine is Nonina's which is an Italian bakery that always has a small lineup and they serve delicious food and pastries. In terms of safety, Lachine is generally considered a safe neighborhood in Montreal but like any urban area, it's essential to practice common sense safety precautions. The community is served by the Montreal Police Service, ensuring the well-being of its residents. The number of criminal code offenses reported in Lachine in 2021 was 23% lower than the median of the 30 agglomerations, ranking it 21st out of 30. Lachine also ranks 25 out of 30 in terms of crimes against property. If you plan on living in Lachine, I'm sure you might be curious about some of the city's demographics, so let's get right into that. In Lachine, 61% of people speak both English and French, 12% speak English only, and 24% speak French only. It is considered a multicultural city, and 76% of the people living in Lachine are non-immigrants, and 23% are immigrants. In terms of ownership, 43% of people are owners, and 57% of people living in Lachine rent. Lachine is a mixed-age borough, but its many schools, parks, and pools, as well as its affordable real estate, definitely caters to families, especially younger ones. It also has several retirement residences, meaning it's also home to an older population. This diversity makes Lachine a very welcoming atmosphere. Lachine's demographic profile provides for a balanced and dynamic community, and the neighborhood's pace tends to be moderate, making it an ideal place for those seeking a mix of tranquility and city living. Noise levels are generally manageable, and the neighborhood maintains a comfortable speed, which is not as bustling as downtown Montreal, but still vibrant in its own right. With that, this video tour of Lachine is officially over, but I hope I was able to provide you with a little more insight about this beautiful Montreal city and showcase what it would be like to live here. If you've made it this far, I want you to let me know below in the comments if you have any questions about living in Lachine. Let me know and drop a comment below. If ever you're looking to buy or sell in Montreal or surrounding areas and have any questions, send me a message or an email and I'll be happy to help. You can find my contact information in the drop down right below this video. That's it for this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications for more content like this. And I'll catch you next time.